Hi, I'm Anthony from Capstan, and this is Anti Hero Online. Team Vans Warped Tour, this is the final cross country run of the tour. What does it mean to you to be involved in this last historic run of this tour? It is an extremely fulfilling feeling, uh, very, very rewarding. Um, just lucky to be here every single day. And I love the grind, I love every, every I've immersed myself in it. So. <laughs> It's wonderful. And how are you guys kind of dealing with the daily demands of Warp Tour and the uh, pressure and the longevity that this tour is? Um, we're doing pretty good with it. Uh, we've we've already had some issues happen with like our bus and things like that, but we we push through it every single day, and now it's normal. It's just like it's another day, and you know we constantly want to keep the energy up, gain as many new fans as we can out there every day in the lines. Sell, trying to sell CDs towards the end, you know, because we are a new upcoming band and, and those connections are important. And speaking of that importance, what void do you think that the Vans Warp Tour is going to leave behind when it does not do its cross country runs anymore? For a lot of fans, this is their first time they're experiencing bands like yourself. And that could be the things that catapult you to the next level that you need. Exactly. I have a feeling that there may be something else that will pop up. But it is, it's definitely, I've, I've even thought about it myself. What am I going to do this summer? You know, what am I going to do next summer? You know, and um, now we're starting to work out the kinks and getting the hang of it. And it's, it, it's a bummer because next, next year would have been super, super solid, you know, now that we've been in for 20 days. So. And do you think that uh, bands are going to use this as an opportunity to kind of do some uh, community tours? So like the friends and like the friendships and bonds that you've developed here, carry that over in the next summer and do some tours together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, um, I feel like it's very important networking when you're out here too and go and watch as many bands as you can just like the fans do, but sometimes you may discover your next favorite act even. And how do you kind of find the time to be able to go you have to, to the pick, stage? You have to pick and choose. <laughs> you have to pick and choose your moments, that's for sure. But sometimes the schedules will line up and you have your entire day ahead of you. Or you're in between, you know, if you, if you see, oh, well, this person's playing and I have this long until press or until catering. And you can go ahead and just watch and you just pick the times realistically. And, you know, some people can hang out in the buses or the bandwagons all day like bands. Um, but you, you don't have to. You can always be out and immerse yourself in it if you want to. And kind of going away from Warp Tour, talking about the band a little bit, okay. you guys just released the album a couple of months ago. Right. Uh, where were you at musically when you went into the studio to start working on this? Um, we were we have we write a lot, so the songs that we had chosen when we were in the studio, we had had already had demoed and written um, quite some months beforehand. So. Um, Usually we'll have the music down pretty early, and then it's just all about lyric placement and, and collabing ideas on, because uh, we, we, lyrics, are, we take pride in our lyrics. So uh, that usually takes the longest, but um, most of the time we, we have the skeletons of the songs ready to go. And you're talking a lot about the lyrics, so I assume that the lyrical content is important to the band. Very. When you guys started writing this record in the lyrical platform, what messages did you want to send with the songs and the lyrical content of those songs? Um, mainly, just you don't have to just put your head down in life and just walk through. Um, a lot of people, it's like, you know, go to school, get a, go to college, get a job, get married, have kids, move along. And sometimes, you know, granted it's not for everybody, but you don't have to, you can always like ch make a change in your life especially at any point it's just sometimes people forget that and they are just like well I'm happy with this and they you know sometimes they don't try to push themselves so we just wanted to create relay the message that if you're unhappy with what you're doing you can always change at any point there's always a pivot point that you can use and how important is it do you feel to have that type of message in your music especially in a generation and a time of emotionless music um, we Emotion is, is key, in my opinion. That's why we started writing, uh, just to have that connection, because music helped me throughout my life. And, you know, I, I would take a lot of lyrics uh, very personal from, from other acts, and we just want to spread that emotion and connection with, with the people that give us the time of day to listen to our music. And when, rap, when uh, Warped Tour wraps up, what is the plan for you guys after this? Well, we're going to be hitting the road in the fall, and we are also going to be working on some new music come the next year. 
And when you guys go back into the studio, how do you want to elevate the band and evolve the band further? Um, we're gonna push. We're gonna push some limits. We're gonna keep it relatable, but we're gonna continue to push the the envelope and um, try to make uh, different genres more tastefully uh, intertwined in our music and continue on on uh, taking major pride in our lyrics. That's pretty much everything that I got for you, man. Is there anything that I left off that you would like to touch on? Uh, no, just if you're if you're. St- add Vans Warped Tour, make sure you immerse yourself in it because it's the last one and definitely will be missed. And where can people find you on the social media? Where can they keep up with the music, any releases and uh, any news? We're on all digital platforms for music. Um, Spotify is a huge one for us and um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we're everywhere. So. And what do they need to look for? Oh, um, it's at Capstan underscore band. There we go. Awesome. Some people would forget yes, that underscore and never find it. That's true. That's true.